Unbeknownst to most people here, the most beloved poet in the country of Holland actually lived in Fort Worth, uh, has for the last 16 years uh, in, in the Trinity Terrace retirement community. His name is Leo Vroman, who in addition to his literary endeavors over the years, was also a groundbreaking scientist, uh, a Jew who escaped the Nazis in World War II, and the husband of a woman named Tinica, the love of his life for a marriage that lasted almost 70 years. I first met Leo three years ago when I wrote a series about Tinica and Leo in the Star Telegram, and since that time he and I have been good friends. He's, he was a, a remarkable, kind, funny, obviously intelligent old man, and it, I enjoyed very much my time with him and Tinica at Trinity Terrace. On Christmas Eve, he told me he was dying of bladder cancer. And of course, I was saddened to hear that. Uh, not surprised, perhaps, because he was 98 years old. Uh, but I also recognized an opportunity. And I was curious myself, what would a person, a poet, a scientist, a philosopher, an artist, uh, what would he be thinking as he approached the end of his life? And I asked Leo if I could be with him to talk to him about, about those things. And he agreed immediately. Um, I told him I wanted to write about it for the Star-Telegram, and his comment was, everyone's got to make a living. So you can see the results of our time together, an account of my time with Leo at, at the end of his days uh, in Sunday's Star-Telegram.